I got Bob and I got Bill. They're on the surface of Ike. I left them exactly where they were at the end of last week's stream. And what we need to do is get them back up to our mothership, the Ike One with Jebediah and Val, and uh, return them back to Kerbin. I mean, seriously, I'll... I don't know. I don't want to jinx it. That's all I'm going to say. So why don't we start off with actually just, well, getting them aboard. They've collected, I believe, all the science they have to collect. Yep. Uh, Bob did his obligatory... Um, I'm going to do a quick save before the ladder. I'm nervous about ladders now. <laughs> but Bob did his obligatory uh, golf swing. And otherwise, all we got to do... Oh, really? Really? You're getting stuck there? Uh, okay, fine. He's up that way. Oh, wait, I think I can make this... Okay, Bob's going to use his EVA pack for this, but... <laughs> we can do it. Oh, how can he still be stuck? Fine. Fine. Thankfully, Ike's gravity... I believe it's less than the moon's. Like, we should be able to just... Right? There he goes. You know, you test those ladders, and they still become a pain. Okay. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, there is something definitely strange going on there. <laughs> okay, Bill, you're going to have less adventures, aren't you? We're going to leave Ike's dusty surface. Ike seems a little more charcoal -y to me than the moon does. It's very moon-like, but you know, um... Two? There we go. But, uh, you know, just a little more dusty looking, I think, than anything else. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we gotta get ourselves up to our ship. So, our ship is going around here. Uh, we're gonna set that as a target. Now, it is in... A 16 kilometer orbit so probably the best plan is just to launch ahead of it and let it catch up to us um, so that means I'm gonna put myself into a higher orbit and uh, we don't have a signal right now because uh, clearly our silly little but we should get one as soon as we get that that should be good Obviously, my ascents from Ike is a little bit inexperienced. Okay, SAS on. Um, we got to go eastward. So, I think just, you know, I'm going to quick save. I'm going to do a lot of quick saves in this. <laughs> I get nervous. The closer I get to the finish line, the more nervous I get. Off to the east we go. And we're going to go, I don't know. We ha I think we have a lot of fuel. Whoops. Oh, where's my... I, sorry, I, I gotta realize something. 20, 26 kilometers. That's turned out... Ooh, get ourselves a night. We always get these beautiful... Uh, looks at... Let's put on our... Uh, Kerbal Engineer Report. Kerbal Engineer Redux stuff there. So we're in a 27 kilometer about orbit there. But uh, I think we got a lot of, a lot of, I can say these words, a lot of uh, fuel. So I don't see this is going to be as big an issue. And then we'll ditch this lander after we get all the science out of it. Again, I still don't have a signal, but, you know, I only realized this recently. But um, I still have all that probe control stuff. Even though I have no signal, even though and even though I don't have a pilot aboard, because uh, I guess that's good enough. It's like the instructions for flying the ship are in the probe. The probe is there to make it easier. The probe body is there to make it easier for uh, our Kerbals to do what they need to do. Okay, where are we in terms of apoapsis? Okay, we'll just get up here a little bit more. Hello, everybody in the stream. Welcome. All right. So this is just to circularize, and then we'll see about getting ourselves 
a rendezvous with our target. A little closer. Shouldn't take too much to finish this off. A little thrusty busty here. Yeah, this is going to work. Engine still has lots of ignitions. Yep. When we got Bill. Bill can fix things. Bill's a fixer. Let's reduce the throttle a little bit because I noticed my time to apoapsis is getting away. Maybe even pitch down a little. There we go. And... Maybe get a little, try that one more time. Just get this a little bit more approximating a circle. I was pulling that probe grade a little bit towards the north here because I noticed where the target icon was. I hope that's fixing up the inclination. The Ike one isn't quite, whoops, I should do more burning and less talking. The Ike one isn't quite in a equatorial orbit. All right, let's see how that did. So. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it works. Hopefully I didn't... Cannot make a maneuver node. Oh, you stinker McDinker pants. That's because... Oh, f where's Kerbin and all? Where's the sun? Um, I would think we should have a signal. I put a relay. I could bring the Ike 1 out to it. That might be a better plan, because I can't make a maneuver node. Let's uh, switch over to the Ike one, just real quick. Might do this the other way around. All right, so here we have a signal. Don't I have a relay antenna aboard? Or did I not put one on? Isn't this a relay antenna? That's a relay antenna. Why isn't it relaying the signal? I'm a little confused on that front. Put our lander back there. Lander, lander. There. Okay. I'm not quite sure. Oh, here. I'm putting the wrong button. That doesn't help. Yeah, for some reason it's not. Oh, it is relaying it. Let's go back. Okay. It says here it's relaying. So let's switch back to here. If I get the maneuver node plotted, then I don't have to... Uh, then it's okay if I don't have a signal. But I can't actually make the maneuver node oh this is weird maybe because that relay is not strong I don't know I'm getting okay we'll, we'll figure I'm not gonna worry about it the relay by itself is not strong enough to reach all the way back to the KSC but I thought the relay would combine its strength with these antennas so that all it really had to do was relay out to the lander. But clearly, I am wrong in that assumption. So there we go. Learn something. That's okay. We can make this work. So we're going to set that as a target. We're just going to have to do this the other way around. Um, actually, getting in a little bit of a higher orbit probably isn't a bad thing anyway. Because we are kind of low. Now there is a bit of an inclination difference between our two orbits. Five degree inclination difference. Oh shoot. <sighs> My life. This is why I like the little widgety tool. Okay. Okay, let's try this again. I pulled it and clearly messed up something. Hmm. I don't like how... Okay, wait a second. I'm getting a decent one here. Maybe I should just go for over here. It's close to the descending node. Just call it there. Let's see what we can get. Yeah, that's getting closer. I got a 
three kilometers, two kilometer separation, 1.9 kilometer separation. I should be able to make this work. 1.9, 1.8, 1.6. That's close enough. We'll make this work. Okay, so we got this burn coming up in just 12 minutes. Jeb and Val, you gotta go get them. Hopefully uh, these aren't gonna give me issues. If one of those goes, we don't have a bill. We do not have a bill to fix it, so... Oh well, let's, let's just see what that happens. Now, I'm noticing this is a really, really short burn. So let's see if we can... Uh, let's churn all of these throttles to 25%. So quarter thrust, 25%, 25%. Now it's a five second burn, it makes me feel better. It's just too sensitive otherwise. Okay, so I learned something about the relays. That's ah, okay. We can make this work anyway. And the more I think about it, the more I probably would have wanted to push this off into a higher orbit because I was looking at um, Ike on the KSpedia and its and its stats, and its highest elevation is 12 and a half kilometers above sea level. So we're actually not clearing the highest elevation by all that much, and if we end up doing a very big burn, nah. My, it doesn't hurt to be in a higher orbit. Okay. Ourselves a little closer here. Put this on the approach indicators. Now, people that were watching this or that caught the stream from last week know that their trip out here was far from uneventful. So hopefully, the return journey will be a little less harrowing. Now, what I don't have is RCS to fine-tune this. Oh. I uh, overdid it just a little bit, but I'm just going to live with it. I was looking at the wrong intersect. It's intersect 2 we're going for. So that's going to be in 27 minutes. I have to make sure to get all of the science out of that lander. It's one of the things I'm... Oh, whoa, 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 okay. Notice the times went a little funny on me. When you time warping, that sometimes happens. Okay, put this on target, put this on retrograde relative to the target. Still about two kilometers separation, so there's definitely some shortening we can do here. But then once we're close, we'll switch to the lander. How far are we from the lander? We're, oh, three, three and a half, 3.7 kilometers from the lander, so we are pretty close. Let's just sort of push this in the right direction and then we'll take a look. There's a plane change happening here too. Oh, I forgot, I still got the thrust limiter way down too. Probably put that back, well, maybe not yet. Okay, kilometer closest approach. 900 meters, 800 meters, 700 meters, 600 meters, 500 meters, 400 meters, 300 meters, two, oh, oh, that was starting to go back up. Okay, put you back on here. Where is our lander? Is there somewhere? You should be able to see it. Ah, I had to hit F4. 
every once in a while, F4 toggles those nodes on and off. And every once in a while, I don't know, I just hit them, I guess. I want to see it. There we go. Two kilometers away. What's our orbit like? No, I want my orbit to be better than this. So we'll let ourselves get in a little bit closer. I really would prefer not to get into a whole lot of burns with these engines. We'll get Bill to service them though. I'm a little bit uh, gun shy with the what happened last week with one of those engines failing on me during a crucial capture burn. So I'm just keeping the throttle really low so that this time doesn't increase but just bringing down this distance Getting very close now. Whoa, we'll just that, stick that sucker on the retrograde. I'm just going to let this burn, bring this distance even further down. It is burning, by the way. I, I, got, I do have a little bit of throttle. You can't see the plumes, but they're there. I'm going to cut it soon, though. I'm also looking at my... I want this to be a reasonable circular orbit. Okay. And this craft isn't what you would call nimble. I'm still locked to retrograde. That's why it keeps wanting to push back that way. Okay, final little push here. Again, the idea being just to get our relative velocity and our orbit to something. Dis this is getting closer and closer to being a circular orbit the more I do this. I think it's pretty good. All right, we're about a minute away. Still two point. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this around to prograde relative to the target. And I'm going to dock the lander on this docking port here, rather than the one that's at the back. Uh, from last stream, I lost the lander. It kind of jiggled out of there. And what I think probably happened is when I time warped, there was probably even though the lander is in here clean, it was probably too close to some of these other parts and. The game, while I was time warping, thought there was some colliding going on and probably knocked the lander loose. At least that's my theory. I'm going to stick with that. So we're going to put the lander onto the other docking port at the other end. And to be honest, there's no reason why it couldn't have been there pretty much the whole time. But it's what I did. Okay, uh, let's see. We're going to control from here. We're coming in fast. Come on. Where is our ship? Ah! RCS. I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get... Ah, uh, don't, don't hit it. I'm just pushing out of the way. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I got that a little bit. A little bit too tight. Just get out of the way. <laughs> okay. All right, that was uh, less than, less than stellar, wasn't it? Okay, maybe we will go. Okay, control from here. Can let, okay, we're going for this one now. Set that as a target. Oh my gosh. I thought I gave myself plenty of time. No, 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 no. Now we're chasing it. Well done, sir. <laughs> Alright, we will go with the back again. And close these doors. That was funny. 
I was going to go at the front, but now I'm going to go at the back. Almost had a clue. I don't know how close that came. <laughs> that was that was closer than I probably would have liked. At the end, I just changed the attitude of this so that it was uh, parallel to that solar panel. Because that's the thing I was worried about the most, that we clocked that solar panel. I do have repair kits aboard, so I suppose I could have fixed it if that happened, but... Better not to do it. But it did look like I did not miss by much. Alright, so what did I miss? What did I miss? Uh, Bob and Bill have lifted off of the surface of Ike. Are now coming in to our mothership, the Ike 1. We're going to transfer them aboard. We're going to transfer the science aboard. We're going to probably steal a little bit of resources as well. Ditch the lander and then start thinking about yeah there's no more hydrogen I know that ran out a long time ago and then start thinking about uh, sending sending this thing home uh, so let's see uh, transfer crew that's what I wanted to do there we go Bob up to here you go and Bill And, uh, I should be able to just transfer all of the science data here. It's the nice thing with Kerbalism is you don't have to EVS. Still got tons and tons of science. So all this stuff should all be stowed. You can see the, the cupola module there highlighting. It should all be stowed up there. No, there's still stuff down there, isn't there? I guess it can't take samples, doesn't have sample slots? Uh, okay, maybe, can I store it in here? It's the samples that are still in the lander. Um, where's the transfer stuff? Science crew report. Oh, maybe, maybe. No, there must be. There's no transfer data here button. Okay, wait a second. Wait a second here. According to this, I have 120 slots available. But all of this junk, I can see the lander. want to get my science up there transfer data here no the samples are still down there just give me a moment okay but I don't see the transfer data here which makes me think that the hab module here can't do it. Should have put one of those science for like next to nothing. I could have put one of those science parts. How about the, can you transfer data to this? Are you telling me that I, I'm going to have to abandon all of my samples? I might have to abandon all of my samples. Thou, the probe body might have sample slots. That's very true. And there is a probe body... Though there can't be many. There is a probe body up here. I might have my sample slots all full. But it says I got 120, but they might all be down here. In the lander can and stuff like that. Uh, transfer data here. So, a lot of it is still down there. I have me a feeling... I think I might have to leave some samples behind. Some poor planning on my part. I'm sure you can't stow anything in here. Oh, while I'm looking at this, I got 115 days and five hours to my next harvest. So what I should do is just add an alarm. This is just uh, 
So I last harvest caught me by surprise. They they might need that food, so I do want to make sure. So we got a harvest coming up in 115 days. Uh, uh, um, yeah, just leave it like that, and uh, no repeats. Yep, just boom, just a a flat out one like that. Okay, that'll remind me to do that, but I think that's it. Can't a scientist trans grab the samples? They sure uh, a scientist sure can tra grab the samples, but I do not think I can try that. But I do not think there's anywhere for him to store said samples. I think the sample slots up at the top. I think there are some in here, but I think they are full, and which is really dumb because if I it's, oh no 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 watch out for the hat ring we gotta go get Bob oh for goodness sakes tell you it's an adventure okay anyway Bob doesn't have any mono propellant aboard because of a dumb glitch so what we're gonna do I was just following him to make sure he doesn't end up hitting that ring that would have been bad uh, Jebediah, Valentina, one of you two. <laughs> Who's, come on, transfer crew. Somebody's got to go get them. Uh, jeepers, creepers, what a, where's the transfer? There's too many buttons now. Valentina, get in here. Undock, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm on Bob. There's what I need to be on. TR. Oh my gosh. Can I uh, target him through here? Celestial, I don't see Kerbal. Oh, EVAs? Bob. All right, I can target him. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. So what I got to do... <laughs> If I knew that I had quick saved not that long ago, I can't remember the last time I quick saved, I would have just reverted back, but. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I gotta get in close enough so that Bob might open this up too, because we might be able to catch him in there. Um, what kind of inventory? Ah, uh, whatever. We'll work this out. What's in the inventory here? I should have also looked. Yeah, I don't have. I do have spare EVA packs. Oh, if Bob gets close enough, he can do the EVA trick. So that's all I got to do. I don't. He doesn't even need to grab. I just need to get close enough for Bob to access this inventory and he can fix it. Oh, for goodness sakes. Yeah, Bob did not follow the EVA checklist. <laughs> so, um... Let's not just simply run into him. It's nice that I can target him, though. Can get down to a really low... Okay, now back to Bob. Um, nope, that's Valentina. Bob, Bob. Now, hope what I should be able to do if I open up this inventory... Pin, inventory, be fast. Open up Bob's inventory. And just do this. Boom, 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 boom. And Bob should now have... Oh my gosh. Okay, now this was all about... <laughs> this was all about seeing if I can get some of the samples that are out of here, right? So if I can... Is there a take, take, take data... So Bob just grabbed a whole pile of stuff from there. I don't know if there's anything. There's Yeah, there's something in there and something in there. So Bob's just grabbed all those samples. Now you would think if Bob can hold the samples, he can just keep them in his pockets. <laughs> you think you should be able to get him into the ship. Okay, you know what? EVA Bob back. We're good for monoprop, right? Oh my gosh. 
I'm gonna EVA. I, I didn't go into the. I was just about to go into the lander, but then he would have ended up storing those experiments back in the lander can. But what if I just simply take him back here and then board? I would. I don't know. We'll see what happens. If that fixes the problem. If not, then. And this is the last cheapers. Mike, come on. <laughs> this is the last. Coming in a little hot there. This is the last of this series. So I honestly really don't care about the science. I mean, I should, but I kind of don't. Okay, grab board. All right. So in my books... I do not see any of that stuff. There's no... I think I might have just lost it all. Because I don't see it here. See that? How uh, these are all the datas from the stuff that's being transmitted. But all the samples are gone. I don't care. I'm done. I'm done. This is getting too stupid. Go uh, ships. Ike 1. Back we go. Valentina, you're getting back aboard here. That way. There we go. Don't care. I gave it the college try. I don't care. Yeah, I'm going to dock on the nose now. I'm seeing that in the chat. You can dock on the nose now. Yeah, I'm going to dock on the nose. <laughs> Not going to do that. Valentina's going to do a much better job than Bill and Bob did. That's for sure. Yeah, so there's no more data in here. Bob did take it, but... I don't know. Bob got hungry on the EVA back and ate the samples. Yes, that's exactly what happened. We're docking here. Set as target. This thing has some weak, weak, weak thruster blocks on it. Yeah, I don't know if I'm filling people full of confidence that I'm actually going to be capable of getting these folks back. <laughs> We're having enough trouble just with this. Okay, it's enough time warping. Uh, should be able to push it. Yes, that way, that way. Am I thr I can't see the No, I think I No, no, no. This is this is good. I'm doing it right. Okay, let's slow down. I'm going awful fast. Oh boy, chasing, 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 chasing. There's no use for mono propellant, by the way, once this is docked, so I don't feel too bad about this. Just slow down. Oh my gosh. What did I say about Valentina? She was going to do a better job? I lied. Now she's got this lined up. <laughs> I think I'm just in a hurry and I'm just not taking my time, which doesn't help. You know, I realized as well as I was going to deorbit this thing on RCS or at least get it down to a lower orbit. But um, I'm realizing this is not going to be able to fly without a Kerbal at all because 
he can't reach home. It's got no connection. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. Valentina, get back aboard. Okay, uh, so we're done, right? There's no... Yeah, that's empty. Okay. Uh, Let's get some resources happening here. So I want to... Where's my tack fuel balancer thing? There it is. Um, all the monoprop. Where's the monoprop? All the monoprop I want in the lander can that I can. There's a ton in... The, oh, good. Great. Because this thing doesn't even have... Oh, wait. No. No, 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 no. Uh, I should have at least a little bit. Because if I need to do an EVA, I want to have some... Because the, the game uses uh, monoprop to fill up their EVA packs. So... That should be good. Okay, I'm just back to where I was. <laughs> okay, liquid fuel. I want to steal all the liquid fuel out of here that remains. So um, that is right, yeah, here. So this is going to be out, 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 out. Because we're going to obviously leave the lander behind. And any food, water, nitrogen, all that kind of stuff too. Oh, it's out of nitrogen. Wow. I got to be a little care. Oh, I had a ton of nitrogen to start with. That's why. Uh, food. Lander can out. Take whatever snacks happen to be in there. Um, carbon dioxide I actually need for my plants. So I'm not going to... Carbon dioxide. There's none in there anyway. Electricity, food, hydrogen, liquid, nitrogen, oxidizer, oxygen. I'd like your oxygen, please. Oh, I'm doing the wrong one. There we go. There's a lot of oxygen aboard, actually. Oh, I'm really at a low speed here. There we go. Oxygen. Uh, RCS rocket. Waste? Nope, there's no waste containers. Waste atmosphere, waste water, water. Water, water. I'll take your water lander can. And I'm kind of inclined. I think I'm going to hang on to the lander can until just before. Let's put these back up to 100. I'm just thinking about it. To just before we're ready to make our ejection, even though we're going to lose it. Because if I ditch it now it's just I don't think I have the ability to deorbit I guess I could ditch it now and then just clean it. why don't I do that that makes way more sense let's ditch it ditch it now undock and just clean up my orbit a little bit getting ready for departure that makes way more sense so somewhere in all that I did lose all my samples Goodbye, legendary lander. The lander did a good job. I should have put... And it, it's such a small little light part. I really underutilize it. Is I really should have put on um, one of those experiment storage kits. That would have solved it. It has a bazillion slots. I just didn't think about it. But, oh well. Can't think of everything. So I'm going to put this up to a 30 by 30 orbit. My inclination is 2.8 degrees. I might even zero that. We'll see. And then that will put us in an orbit where I don't have to worry about ever hit encountering that lander again. Uh, it's just going to stay... This thing is just going to stay in orbit because I'm, I'll switch to it once I'm finished this little burn. I got, I'm only 10 seconds away from my apoapsis, so I, I want to, uh, 
just change my orbit here a bit, but I've, I'll switch to it once I'm done this little burn here. Oh boy, it's not. Stop pulsing. There we go. Um, let's switch to this. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I have zero control of this, unfortunately, because my relay doesn't work the way I thought it would. Okay. So we're saying bye to the lander. We're just going to again let's get to periaps or app wait a minute, wait a minute, apoapsis. And push up my periapsis. It's transmitting away all of that science, which is good. That will mean our electricity demands. So for the future, uh the relay is kind of its own thing. It doesn't really I think that's unfortunate. I would have thought it would have worked the way I thought it would have worked. But of course, if I, that's why I did it that way. <laughs> oh. Okay, so prograde. Ah, oh, shoot, I gotta spin around. I'm a little too close. So again, I'm just making my, I'm bringing down the eccentricity of my orbit is really what this is. There, there we go. So it's pretty much 30 by 30 now. I'm happy with that. Um. Now, I'm going to do, I got 2,099 meters per second of delta V left. I do have my return to Kerbin, and according to this, a total delta V here of 1,622. That includes both the ejection from uh, Duna, unfortunately this is set up for Duna, and my capture at Kerbin. But I want to do an experiment. So according to this, my ejection from Duna is 546 meters per second. I want to see, and that's assuming that I go all the way back down to a low orbit about Duna and then eject out, which I'm not going to do. Um, I'll explain what I'm going to do in a second, but I want to do a little bit of an experiment. First of all, I want to make sure, because I'm going to do some time warping, I want to make sure these panels are good. Um, it may be cheaper, let's get rid of this signal, it may be cheaper to eject straight out of Ike's orbit, straight out of low orbit about Ike, and take advantage of Ike's motion around Duna. So for instance, where, where are we? Here we go. Um, if I want, actually I'm not far off from the right spot, I want to eject out of Duna going in this direction, left on your screen, and... Ike is pretty much in the right spot that I can use part of Ike's velocity to help me accomplish that. So I'll show you what I mean. And what I'm interested in is if I do that, will it come out to be less than 546? Because if it does, this is my cheaper way to go. I'm hoping this is making some sense. And I do have a video where I did pretty much the same thing coming out from... You know what I'm going to do? No, I, I, here pretty much doing the same thing coming out of from from Joule and I was in orbit around lathe I did a whole tutorial on this is what I'm in orbit about lathe what's the best way to get back to Kerbin and it turned out the best way to get back from Kerbin from low orbit about lathe is to blow straight out from low orbit about lathe not to you know just just to um, Hmm. So I'm just going to experiment with, I think I can do this cheaper, just leaving straight from here. I'm going to go with that theory, let's see. So I'm just playing with the timing here a bit, really more than anything. And obviously the timing of this is all wrong for getting a curb and intersect. But all I need to do is, can I get down to Kerbin's orbit less cheaply? Right? Ah, see that? 
So that is getting my periapsis, and I've hardly optimized this, but my periapsis is now down around where Kerbin's orbit is, right? And I can probably do it cheaper than this, but because I, I wasn't playing with it for too long. But this is just a 451 meter per second burn. What's happening is I'm taking advantage of the fact that Ike has speed coming around Duna. So I'm kind of, if you time it right, use that speed to give you the extra speed you need to eject yourself out from, from here. And I am getting my, my getting down to Kerbin's orbit for only 451 and I can probably do it for cheaper yet Duna's here saying it's going to be 446 so I'm saving myself over 100 meters per second so I think I'm not going to get out of Ike's orbit I think I'm going to do it this way this is my experiment so there we go so 546 hmm okay we're going to go with that so I think Really, all I got left to do now, I'm going to center this on Duna and come out here. Let's get to our transfer window. Uh, I should be able to... Oh, that's the wrong... There we go. You can show the phase angle. So my phase angle's wrong. So we got to wait until Duna... Until this catches up with Duna. Right, our phase angle's not right with Kerbin. No, that's not going to happen for another year and 58 days. I was considering playing around with seeing if I can find a sooner uh, way out of here, but I don't think I really need to do that. One, I'm, The only thing that's got me concerned is it says here that I have only 244 days of water, but I think that's because... It's not counting, you know, like there's a water recycler and they're all on, but probably the containers are empty and I suspect it's not counting that. At least I hope that's the way it works or else we're going to be in trouble. Anyway, uh, I think what I'm going to do is just close this and I think I'm just going to do some time warping. And hopefully, and really keep an eye on the water. Yeah, the water keeps bouncing up to perpetual. You see that? So I think I'm okay. You know what? Stop for a second. Let's do a quick save before I get too far with this. <laughs> quick save. Okay, let's do this. So we're, we're really going to start time warping here. So we got to time warp about a year. Ike 1 batteries are almost empty. That makes no difference. That was inevitable. There we go. Uh, yeah, we're transferring away our data. We also got to make sure to do our harvest here. Okay, now I'm at full time warp. This makes me nervous. I, I, there's always something about time warping with all of these resources. Solar panel malfunction on the Minmus 2B. <laughs> that doesn't matter. These are just old probes that are now failing. As long as my Kerbals here stay alive, everything is fine. Okay, I'm coming close to harvest time. A problem with a reaction wheel. A problem with a light. <laughs> Getting all these warnings about ships. Okay, uh, Mimis Relay 2 is gone for good. We're going to see more and more of those. Okay, we're coming to our first harvest here. This is great. Crop is ready for harvesting. Okay. So back to here. Oh shoot, this is locked on. Don't do that. That was locked on programming. It was spinning itself around. So we did a lot of time warping there. About 150 something days of time warping and everything seemed to go okay. I'm noticing my water is still at 243 days. So it has not changed. So that makes me feel good. I really think the water actually may be pretty close to being perpetual. Because the greenhouse... I don't know, there's there, there's a water recycler going on that's reusing the wastewater. It can't be 100%, but I think it's close enough. Okay, uh, harvest, harvest, harvest. More food. So, 
we have greenhouse here so we're ready to harvest so right now we have one year and 244 days of food and if i press the harvest button it's now 270 days of food nice and our next harvest isn't for another 200 days so we'll get rid of this add in another alarm here for another harvest our space that's our second crop by the way our second space crop 200 days uh ye, ye, oh wait let's let's go with 199 days so it's a little earlier there we go okay and we'll do a quick assessment on our kerbals here uh they seem very comfortable four percent stress is the only number i see that's not a zero they are still living if we go down here to their habitat and oh comfort's now down Oh, they lost. Oh, they just lost the ability just because we're on the wrong side of Ike. They can't call home uh, because Ike's in the way. But that'll rectify itself very shortly.